and someone else who wants to do something is Chris Caputo uh, from uh, Wilson Manors in Florida. Hey there, Chris. Hey, how are you? It's great to see you again, Amber. Nice seeing you, Chris. So first of all, tell us about Wilson Manors. What, what, what's, what's that about? So it's actually, for those that don't know, it's pretty much the gayest place on earth. We, people don't realize it, but uh, per capita, we have more gay couples than I think even San Francisco, if I'm correct. It's definitely fabulous. We'd love for you to come down and spend some time with us, Amber. Oh, don't be careful what you ask for. Oh, I have spare bedrooms or we could share about, you know, whatever works. <laughs> oh my goodness, Chris. So um, so you're running for a city commissioner is, uh, what's the title? That's right, city commissioner. So what, what do they do? So a city commissioner, uh, much like the mayor, we have an equal vote in sort of setting the direction and the vision for the city. And that's something that Wilt Matters really needs right now is a little bit of direction coming out of COVID and in the last decade of stagnation. So are you uh, running for an open seat or are you competing with someone? So there's, uh, I think there's six of us in the race. There's two open seats. Um, the, the, of the two that were holding the seat, one is retiring, one's running for mayor. I'm happy to have her support in that process, uh, but I'm hoping to win one of the two open seats. And I'm sorry, how many are running for those two open seats? Uh, there's six of us that are running for the two open seats. Wow. So is how competitive is it? You know, what's really great about this town, we're a small town of 12,000, is it's a very friendly race. You know, we all are passionate people. We all are doing it because we care. So it's it's an honor to run amongst people that are doing it for the right reasons. So it's, though it's competitive, it's very friendly. So what what prompted you to uh, run for this office? So as I've, as I've said many times before, when I've, when I've told my story, you know, I tested positive for HIV about a decade ago at the Pride Center here. And, uh, and at that time, you know, I thought I was broken down. I thought I wasn't good enough. I thought I'd never be enough and never be anything again. And the, the folks at the Pride Center, they, uh, they took me in and they said, stick around, things get better. Good things will come for you, right? And they didn't know me and, and, and that's what they do for everybody, you know? And, and so I stuck around and things got better and I launched my business from there and I developed many friendships from there. I serve today as the board chair of that organization, but it taught me how important a good community is. And so I've been blessed with things that, I, that, I, that I'm forever grateful for. And so this is sort of my way of paying it back to the community that did so much for me when I couldn't do it for myself. So what uh, business do you have? So I do, um, I do internet marketing and online streaming and events and that sort of thing. Oh, hello there. Uh, hi there. <laughs> well, very good. Yes, because that's how we, we first uh, met was through um, our good friend, Miss Richfield's uh, Monday Night Bingo Games. <laughs> that's right. And little did I know that we had so many friends in common. I mean, I knew you got around and I got around, but I didn't know that either one of us had so many friends in common. Yeah, well, there, there's Chris uh, and Miss Richfield. Yes, that's that's what he looks like on on a Monday night uh, playing bingo. He's the host of, of the with the most. Uh, yeah, um, it was really strange. I was um, I, I'm a justice of the peace, and I married this couple from Florida several years ago, and I noticed that they had commented on your Facebook page. And oh my gosh, they know Chris, and I know Chris, and and then there was someone else you said that knows us, and. And Deidre's one of my favorite people and she just loves you and I just love her. So if I didn't already love you enough, Amber, that was really, that sealed the deal. Well, thank you. You come up to Vermont if you want to get married because you are partnered, correct? I, I am. I'm very, very fortunate to have a very supportive partner who I couldn't do this without. So I'm so grateful for him. Well, if you decide you want to get married and, and do it away, a destiny wedding, come up to Vermont. I'd be happy well, to do that. Well, you know, that may happen because I want a wedding for 300 and he wants a wedding for 20. And so going away <laughs> to Vermont may be the way to meet in the middle on that one. <laughs> that, that could be. That, that's I, my mother wearing the chandelier on her head. I'm just going to acknowledge that now. <laughs> I'm to acknowledge that and put that out there. I, I've been to parties like that. Yes, <laughs> that's great. That's great. So uh, what do you hope to do with, uh, with your position there as, as commissioner? So, so there's two things. One, I'm very involved in the business community. I sit on the board of the Chamber of Commerce here and in our city is desperately in need of economic development, especially coming out of COVID. And so I'm hoping to attract a variety of new businesses and help the small businesses that are here because small businesses, frankly, really need help. I don't need to tell that to anybody that's here. So that's one part. The other thing that I care, frankly, a very a lot about is the trans community. And I think when we look at what's happening to the trans community, especially the black trans community, it's really nothing short of heartbreaking. And uh, in the way I view it, if, if we in Wilt Manors, which is certainly a, a relatively gay city, all things considered, 
if we can't support the LGBT, uh, the, the trans community, I don't think any city can. So I hope to sort of create a model for, for inclusiveness by amplifying the voices of our trans community and really making them finally feel a part of what I have felt a part of for a long time. Well, how exciting, how exciting. So what do you think your chances are? Are there polls being taken or? So, uh, you know, in all of the unofficial polls, I'm, I'm in the lead, but I've, I've learned this is my first time that, um, that it's not over until it's over. And so I'm working really hard. So I appreciate all of the support of everyone who's coming out for me. It's, it's, it's really heartwarming. And I, and I, and I use the chance to encourage anyone who's thinking about getting involved in local politics, you know, it's, it's, it makes a big difference in ways that you don't know and people will come out of the woodwork to support you if you're doing the right thing and so everybody should do it i'd strongly encourage it and i'm so grateful for those that came out to support me well thank you so much chris because it really means a lot to encourage people to do that and uh, mark let's talk about quarantine okay <laughs> <laughs> chris thank you so much and uh, come back later on for the quiz I'll i will yeah thank you so much